good at waiting and looking for those uppies <laughs> as well. Exactly. Kong Kong, of course, in Smash 4 was one of the more neutral heavy types of Luigi's. Didn't quite get as much off, off his punish game, but once he actually had his neutral down, mm -hmm. uh, then he was also able to get solid wins off of that, you know, being some Rosas in the process, which is yeah. not an easy feat <laughs> in that game. Not at all. Looks, well, like they're, looks like they're still going on their bands right now, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, good thing that both players are actually looking at <laughs> what bands they should be going for, because I know I've had a lot of experience with where players ask me, like, hey, is this, is this how the rule set works? And I'm like, yes, this yeah. is how it works, man. It's pretty difficult, too, because it's like you... you it's in Smash 4, you can, you can kind of look at the states so and it's like, oh yeah, there they are. But right now, it's like, where are they again? Like, <laughs> yeah, which ones yeah. are legal? Is Castle Siege legal in California? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had someone ask me that. It's like, is Castle Siege legal in here? And I'm like, mm, no. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> uh, it's a whole different ball game, man. Yeah. Sorry. You will see that, that ball game played at a different ballpark in G6 this yeah. weekend here. But of course, we're now bringing it back to MSM here. It's going to be another of the Belmont battles here. Yeah. Luigi versus Richter. We're actually moving on to winner's quarter, so whoever gets here will be able to move on to the top eight. But right now, starting on FD, it's a lot of space for both players, actually, uh, to really get some stuff going. Wow. Immediately with a misfire. This is one of the things I was telling you guys earlier, right? Nitro. I'm going to call him Orochi because I've been telling him it's a better tag. But Orochi Wolf here, that's one of the things we see him. I like how he waited there. He wanted to see if Ellen was going to, I'm sorry, Kong Kong was going to go down there for a possible deep edge guard there. But fortunately, he did not. That's one thing that Nitro is doing. He sets himself up for those projectiles. He knows that if he has Kong Kong frustrated with the other ones, he can start getting aerial reads with the axe. That's what you want to aim for as one of the Belmonts. All right, what's he going to do? Oh. oh, I like it. Went for the save confirmed from the forward tilt. Yeah. He can try to reset it one more time. Doesn't quite get it there. He gets the roll in, and Kong Kong decides to reset to neutral and try not to get a reversal because he knows he could possibly get hit by, like, a down tilt or there something like that. You always want that. No matter what, you always want that cross out. How does he have to get around this time? He does not. Tries to air dash through. Or, excuse me, air dash. Oh, wave, da wave dash, no. <laughs> air dash through. <laughs> but it doesn't quite work. Sorry, I'm thinking of like five different games at once. Oh, great. Down smash read. Trying to trying, definitely understand how Kong Kong was going to go around him with a roll. Yep. That's, this is what I've been telling you guys about how Tater played Simon as opposed to how Nitro is playing Richter. It's the way that he's setting up the projectiles to force his opponent into his options there. We saw him go for an aerial option there, and he immediately pulled out the up tilt. Great force match from Kong Kong, though. Yeah, looks like he tried to intercept another down tilt that time around. It actually worked out for him. Great parries coming from Kong Kong. Make sure he doesn't get any free damage. And we got a big potential combo, but he doesn't Ooh. get the punish off. <laughs> I mean, this is obviously the difference between Kong Kong and Elegant. Punish game. And exactly. We know that Kong Kong is capable of the zero to death. We've seen him do it before. Just not quite as uh, efficient at doing it once he's able to actually get that but he makes up for it when he gets advantage uh, position and just getting really great reads putting them off stage and getting a lot of damage there mm -hmm. Nitro of course angling those forwarders you can angle them at 45 degrees goes for the take this and unfortunately Luigi will take it and he loses the stock yeah unfortunate gonna die to an air dodge there but that was a lot of conditioning too on uh, Nitro's part with the um, Flurry projectiles, keeping him at that ledge. Yeah, that's what you want, man. Conditioning. You don't. You always want to keep your cards in play. You toss them out, but you want your opponent to fall for the real trap card, and that's the reads. Oh, yeah, that was really smart. I like that using the holy water just to protect the ledge uh, from a potential edge guard. He's got the holy water on hand. Does he still have it on hand? No, he yeah, doesn't. Yeah, no, he lost it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if he, he was able to throw it at him, he could have potentially given him like a throw into like forward smash or something. But right now, Nitro doing a good job. Oh, I like Keeping it. Keeping up his control, yeah. He went for the jump option panic there. He didn't want to get hit by forward smash. He didn't want to get hit by cross. Oh, Nitro definitely reading that one. I like that. Uh, forward tilt, not the fastest in the game, but it's still a really solid option to space out, especially at that uh, mid-range, where it's not quite there for Luigi to get that grab yet, like right there. Yeah. Get a spot dodge through, get another forward tilt. Yeah, f tilt being, being frame 12. Getting that down to one more time, down to two also, and that's a potential setup, yeah. but yeah, he got caught in his buttons a little bit, but still, he's got a significant lead going here. That's the thing about Forto that we see him using it tonight. Not too fast, frame 12. Fast in the return, though. Comes back at frame 13. I like it. Trying to read the jump option against Kong Kong there. Oh, but it falls to the grab. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, he just misspaced himself very slightly. Of course, dash grabs, I think, are a little bit worse in this game overall. So some people may not be used to it. 161 uh, damage right now. And you can tell Nitro's doing really hard just trying not to get hit. Or grab, excuse me. Oh, finds the pivot grab there. That'll do it. 
Oh no, there's them off the stage here, edge guard face for Nigel instead. Yeah, center stage unfortunately, not quite going to be able to do it. What's the option going to be? He has to land down somehow, gets the tip on that forward tilt. That's going to be the stock and the first game going to Nitro. Safe poke is no joke, man. Forward tilt, like I said, slow on the startup, fast on the return. Only a one frame difference on that one. Yeah. It's going to be super useful for Nitro there. Yeah, I don't know whose idea was it to put a little mace at the end of that whip. Like, I don't know how practical that is, but I mean, if it works and gives that gives that character a tipper, then it'll work out, right? It comes from the great old Belmont, Trevor Belmont, the one who found the Morning Star. Sorry, I had to give you with the knowledge, man. <laughs> but uh, let's go back into the real game here. And... That's what. That's the story of how Nitro is playing, right? The conditioning, right? Sets up con conversation. I tossed out my holy water for a purpose. If you're scared of it, I will condition you for an axe, an up tilt, a forward air. But it's not only that. The way that I've been telling you guys, they're all all along. I don't know what that down smash was. I don't know if he like didn't buffer the yeah, the jump or something like that. But he still got some damage out there. Forty one percent. Not too bad. Okay. I really respect Nitro's uh, control of his aerials, uh, especially getting the angled ones too. Mm -hmm. Especially on a GameCube controller, it's not too easy. Using the C-Stick is not easy to get those diagonals, so you have to kind of use the control stick. And even then, it messes up with your movement and stuff. So exactly. I, really re I really respect it from Nitro. It's, it's kind of hard to pull off all of that misfire. Kong Kong still gets back on the stage. Take Death. this and the confirm. Alright, great start to Nitro so far. Probably gonna try and keep up this lead. I mean, zoners, that's what they're best at, right? Once they get the lead, they can try and keep it. Nice, there's a mix up there coming out with a down air to the nair. Mm -hmm. Not quite the most reliable in like doing drag downs, but it's still a really good option, that mm -hmm. nair. And then you can potentially get mix ups afterwards. And another force match, is that and it that again? Do it. And that's not even this tipper, that's actually just the middle of, I want to say, the ending of it. Yeah. A nice, newly ejecto seed out of there before Kong can get the edge guard. Yeah, nice DP there. Uh, it, it is uh, intangible, I believe, on startup. So mm -hmm. it basically works like a DP in any other game. Yep, yeah. uh, intangible from frame 5 to 6. Yep, and it starts on frame 5, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Frame All 6, right. starts on frame 6. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. So before and during. Whoa, that cross looked like it was, should have hit, but didn't Oh, that'll oh, be it! No! And yo, that's a 20 and a handshake, Nitro. This is... I'm so sorry, this is as much...